up everybody and welcome back to Josh Travels. So today I'm gonna to be giving you one of my favorite things to do and that's skiing. I love to ski. I live in the south so I actually have to fly every single time I do this. And I'm going to one of my favorite places to ski. I actually went up to Lake Placid and skied White Face Mountain. Now what I love about this place is that it has like a little friendly city that's not way too overcrowded, it has really good food, but the ski resort itself, I mean they got 3,500 meters of elevation, which is a lot of skiing. You have lots of terrain, lots of different slopes. They have every type of level you want to do from double black diamond to greens to bunny slopes, just everything you want to do. Now, one last thing I did want to point out is that I did a lot of things like skiing. I actually did learn how to snowboard. And obviously I just went around the city of Lake Placid to kind of showcase what they have as well as eating there. Now, if all you care about is specific things that I just said, I'll have everything timestamped up there so you can skip ahead to what you want to watch. Now, obviously, if you want to watch the whole video, go right ahead as I did as best as I could to make this in your interest. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, so I'm actually going up to the summit chair right now. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's nobody on the lift anymore. Like, I'm the last person on this lift. About 10 chairs back, the ski patrol's behind me. I'm probably the last. Actually, I am the last person that got up this lift. So I got here just in time. So I'm going to show you where I'm taking you. I'm going to the very top of this. There's 3,500 feet of difference between the very top of this mountain and the bottom of where the base of the summit, uh, where the base is. So I'm going to the, the peak right now. As you can see, all the way up there, very far in the distance, is where I'm going. Um, I'll get you guys a better video from when I get to the top. There's a sign about 20 feet in front of me that says bear crossing ahead. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous. I don't know if I switched in time or not, if you saw it, but I feel like I can be seeing a few bears up here. I see the bears, not gonna lie. I'm kind of scared right now. These bears, these look, they look pretty massive. Oh my God, there's like six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. These bears are massive. Look at them. So I'm finally up here at the top. As you can tell, the scenery up here is astonishing. It's really cold though. My hand's outside my glove and it's like 10 degrees. So the sooner I finish this, the better. I'm not really at the top. I just wanted to kind of show you what you have. So a lot of people are like, there's not really that much great skiing out here on the east. And I just want to say, although it might be slightly icy, there's a lot of powder. But at the same time, the season has been kind of down for everywhere, including the west. So although there might be powder on the west, there's still some ice no matter where you go. But it's beautiful out here. Like you can see the mountain behind me. It goes really high up. From top to bottom, it's approximately 3,500 meters, which is, I would say a mile and a half. I mean, 3,500 feet, not meters. Uh, so I'd say it's about a mile and a half worth of distance from top to bottom. I'll take you guys from top to bottom in a bit. Uh, I'll turn my GoPro on and see how it goes. So for these next five minutes and 36 seconds, I'll be going from the top of the gondola down to the bottom. I would say maybe it's a 2000 elevation difference from the top of where the gondola is to the bottom. And all the runs that I'm gonna be doing, I would say are blue. It might be a slight part where I go into a little bit of a black. It's uh, not super steep, so it's kind of manageable. If you're an intermediate skier, it's a pretty feasible slope for you. Now there's a lot of parts I like about this. There's some parts I don't, and I'll go over that as we go down from the top to the bottom. Now this part that I'm currently going down right now is the catwalk that gets you to the blues. If you go off and veer to the right, there are a couple blacks that I do like. There's some steep ones that go straight off to the right and then a little bit further down there's one that has a lot of moguls if you're the moguls person i would take this i love this one it actually has a lot of powder surprisingly and it's not super icy it's a pretty good slope but i'm gonna end up going down the blues for the sake of the for the sake of this one. I'm going to be taking the left up here and I would say this slope called Excelsior is probably my favorite in the mountain, even though it is a blue because all the slopes and turns that it does have are all just mirrored into one course so if you go full speed in it you can just use the turns as your brakes and you'll be able to go as fast as you want and not hurt yourself. Now obviously if you do not know how to ski and don't break don't do this that'd be stupid but if you're an expert level skier it's a pretty fun course to do if you know what you're doing.
Coming up on my left is a chairlift, and past this chairlift is two more lifts that take you to separate parts of the mountain. And if you like the most difficult terrain, I would consider going up these two. Now the first one takes you to the summit that has some pretty difficult blues and then some black zero moguls. And then the other one takes you to straight blacks and some double blacks that may or may not be closed based on snow conditions. Now obviously based on the sign, I'm going to be going down the terrain parks of this mountain. And based off of the signs, it says it has everything from small to large. Now I would tend to argue that it only has small and slightly medium obstacles because if you've ever been out west and done any of the terrain parks and any of the major ski resorts, you would see how massive those different terrain parks are. So based off of nationwide standards, I would say this is kind of small and medium. So if you're a beginner and you want to try different types of jumps and different rails and just want to be new at parks, this is a pretty good place to start because this is a good place to figure out what you're doing. Now down here on the right where you see the orange fence, there used to be a mid lodge, but about a month ago it actually burned down and I have no idea how it caught on fire, but it's sad to see it go since it was one of the more historic sites of this mountain. These next 200 to 300 meters are probably the most difficult in regards to the path that I was taking down. Now obviously this is still a blue, but I just think it's a little bit steep for a blue. This is a pretty fun way to go down, but one thing that I do not like about it is how icy it tends to be on some days. Now this is the east coast, so if you're skiing after noon, it tends to get pretty icy. But if you come before 12 o'clock in the afternoon, it is pretty nice. It does have powder and it's not that difficult to go down. Now that I'm back at the base of the mountain, I will be showcasing some of the more difficult terrain that they have to offer. Now not everything was open, so I'll only be showing some of the few blacks that were open, but I will also be showing the larger parts of the terrain park that was open when I was there. So, I don't know if you can hear me, but apparently I ended up finding myself at some pretty difficult black runs that are really icy and slick since it's afternoon. And I did not expect this, but alright, it looks pretty fun. I actually didn't even know they had this option here. Because these chairs are closed. I ended up throwing on chairs over there that I thought were just gonna be like blues and stuff. But here we go. Now this has generally been a bad season for the East in general. Um, so a lot of the different slopes are pretty icy because of how warm and cold it's been getting because when it gets past the 32 mark the snow will melt and then it'll freeze again and then it'll just be ice. So this slope which is a, normally a pretty easy black can be pretty difficult when it all turns into ice. But at the same time if you're an adrenaline junkie it does make it a little bit more interesting.
If you're a beginner, although these jumps may look a little bit intimidating, they're actually a lot easier than you think they are. You probably won't get hurt if you fall, and if you do, it's not really that big of a deal because, I mean, you're probably going to only be a foot or two in the air and tops. So I would recommend trying out these before you go out west and see those massive jumps and just full send and break yourself. I did attempt various jumps. Obviously, I didn't do any insane tricks, but for a Georgia boy, I like to think I'm pretty good. So I ended up getting some food at the lodge. It's a lot. I'll let you know if I finish it. <laughs> I'll give you an update on that. I didn't finish it, but the food was pretty good. Lake Placid is a pretty historic site in the United States because it was the host of the 1980 Olympics where we won the Miracle on Ice. And if you look for a nice, small, tranquil city, this is a pretty good place for you to go. It has a pretty good vibe if you want to come for a nightlife. They have a couple of bars here that you would enjoy, but everything is not super busy considering the size and population of the city. And it's not the most sought after place to go because all these super rich people tend to go out west to speak. <laughs> I've been to Lake Placid twice and this restaurant, Aki, is by far my favorite restaurant in Lake Placid. It is a small family run restaurant and it has very authentic, good food and I would recommend going to this place if you were in Lake Placid. If you couldn't tell, those things that are towering over the trees is where the 1980 Olympic ski jumps took place. So as you guys already know, I'm up here skiing in Lake Placid, but today on the third day, I've kind of decided to do something different. I'm going to be doing snowboarding today. Uh, this is my second day of snowboarding. The last time I did it was maybe five years ago. I did it for one day on the bunny slope, so I should know how to get up and stuff and strap on. But as far as going down, it's going to be a little bit of an interesting thing to see what happens. Also, another pretty big difference between today, yesterday, and the first day I was here is today is very sunny, no clouds around, everything's very pristine, and it actually slowed, uh, snowed last night. So we've got lots of good powder to play with, and we actually see where we're going with this night. It's about maybe 10 degrees right now out here in Fahrenheit, but since the sun is out, it keeps it keeps it warmer. This was my second day of snowboarding, so obviously I was still pretty new at this, but. Although I fell a couple times, I was able to figure it out pretty quickly and I did enjoy it, but my main sport is skiing. I'm going to stick with that. Obviously, everybody finds their main thing. A lot of people really love snowboarding. A lot of people love skiing. I found snowboarding pretty easy to figure out. If you knew how to skateboard, surf, or do any type of tablet sport, you'd probably be able to pick up snowboarding very easily. But if you do not know how to do any of these things, the easier thing to do is to try out skiing. The last run I'm currently on was actually while I was on my snowboard, which is pretty interesting considering the fact that I was brand new on this thing. So the fact that I was able to hold the phone up and still go down and not fall is pretty surprising. But please enjoy these last views because it was right when the sun is setting, so it's beautiful out there. All the trees are white and iced over, so just enjoy.
Thank you everybody for watching my video. If you like the content I just put out, please remember to like and subscribe to this video. Now next week I'll be putting out another video on Tuesday as always. It'll actually also be on skiing. I'll be further down south in North Carolina in Maggie Valley. There's a bunch of cool things about that little place that you'll see in the next video. So please remember to tune in next Tuesday. Have a great day guys and thank you for watching.